Hi everyone! Welcome back to Mojo's Money. On this channel, we talk about all things cash stuffing, budgeting, savings challenges, um, paying down my mortgage, etc. And anything to do with money. And today, you have probably already guessed what we're going to be doing. This is probably going to be a compilation of several videos over several different days. And I've never attempted this. I don't even know if it's going to work. But I want to try to make my own 100 envelope savings challenge box. If you'll remember a few videos back, um, I won a giveaway from Roxy Rose Guides. I will link in the description box below her channel. Check it out, everyone. And one of the things that she sent me was a, a colorable cardstock of a 100 envelope challenge, like a tracker. So I thought that I would try to make my own box. So this is a Pen & Gear um, Walmart um, 3x5 box with a little lid and it's got the clear. I don't even know how I'm going to make them fit in here once I get money in them, but anyway, so what I've seen people do is the clear um, type of like thick laminated plastic um, looking small envelopes and so I thought what if I did them with paper what if I could just get some three by five note cards that would for sure fit in here um, fold them over and tape the side so I've got this magic tape that is not glossy that will hopefully um, it will show up good on camera whenever I have them out and uh, yeah I've got a hundred little colored index cards that I'm gonna try it with you guys I don't know if it's gonna work at all uh, we'll see so, yeah, um, I'm really excited to try this out and to see how they work. And I will uh, cut the video here, go try to make some, see if it's going to even work, and then I'll come back and show you what I made. Okay, everyone, I'm back again. It has been a few days, and I have done a lot of envelopes. As you can see, they're fitting in the box really nicely. Um, like I said, this is the Pen & Gear just clear three by five note card box. And I wanted to, sh I have three cards left. I've done 97 cards. It was like, it was a lot. But I wanted to show you guys how I make these. These are just regular um, ruled index cards, the Penny Gear Walmart brand. I got the pastel because I thought that the colors were really pretty. And so yeah, I've been taking the line side for the inside, folding them over and trying to line up the edges and make sure that they are straight. Then creasing it. I like the magic tape um, because it's matte and it doesn't show up like glossy on the camera. Putting a little tape on there, tightly folding it over, taping that side, and then taping the other side. So there we go. These are what my little envelopes are. So they're closed on all the sides, but open on the top, and I think I'll have to double the money, like make a little roll and put it in there so it'll be a little bit fat when I when they're finally filled up. Excuse me, so it might be a tight fit whenever they're finally all in there. Because right now they fit like perfectly. But there's still a little wiggle room. Like if I squish them all down, there's still that much room. So I think that it'll fit the money in there. We'll see. We'll see. It's going to be an adventure. So yeah, let's make these last two. It's a little bit harder to make them on the play mat because it's actually, or the background mat because it's actually a little bit squishy when I'm trying to crease. Interesting. I was making these at my regular computer desk for the past few days, just like while I was doing something else on the computer and something was running, I would just do a couple of these and I actually got done. It actually was not that bad. If this works and the money fits in there good, I will consider putting these in an Etsy shop because I've been wanting to start one. I think that they look really cool. 
but I don't want to sell them to somebody if I if they're not actually functional so I'm gonna start trying it myself before I even consider doing that <sighs> last one 100 envelopes now I, I mean I didn't count them I'm just trusting the company that makes these that says 100 on there for there to actually be 100 and if there's not I'm just gonna be really sad but we'll find out won't we oh that one had a teeny tiny lip there but that's okay it'll still look fine in the box yay it is finished you guys oh my goodness they're really fun to touch to be honest like they <laughs> you can play with them really fun like a book and so that's my 100 envelope challenge box I don't know when I'm gonna start it maybe with my next cash stuffing I haven't decided um, I might wait until June to start it but yeah beautiful what do you guys think tell me below um, have you ever made one of these and if so what um, materials did you use do you have any tips on um, how to put the money in there so that it folds up nicely um, yeah, but anyways, thanks for joining me on this little crafty video. Don't forget to like the video, comment down below if you want, if you have a second. Um, I love to hear from you all. And subscribe to my channel if you like this type of content. Thanks for joining me. Bye.